Well, let's talk about a movie or two uh, for this edition of 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse. Let's go back to, I uh, wrote things on little pieces of paper, 1982, Conan the Barbarian, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I think this film in The Terminator was what basically made Arnold. And um, this was the first adaptation of any Conan a novel, I believe. You know, Robert E. Howard wrote the Conan uh, novels back in the day. And Arnold was, of course, chosen for his physique. And uh, this film was uh, directed by, by John Milius. It also starred William Smith as Conan's father, Max von Sydow as a king, James Earl Jones as Thulsa Doom, Sandal Bergman as uh, Valeria, the, the Queen of Thieves, Jerry Lopez as an archer, Mako as a wizard, and a lot of crazy, violent shit going on because... Um, Conan's village is raided by the minions of Thulsa Doom, and his father is killed, his mother is decapitated in front of him, and he is forced into slavery. And they have a, a shot of all these children being marched out of the a village, chained around the necks, which probably wouldn't fucking fly today, but hey, it flew back then. So basically, Conan and these children are put to pushing this, I don't know, some kind of mill around or something like that until they all get bulked up and muscular. And then Conan is sold to somebody who was taken to fight in the gladiator games. At first he doesn't get what's going on, but then this becomes a bloody and brutal spectacle. Uh, even bloodier in the uh, extended version, which runs 139 minutes. A lot longer than the theatrical version and has more gore and violence in it. Um, Conan is eventually freed and starts to wander the land and comes to this house where this woman invites him in. And while he is making love to her, she turns into a demon from hell and flies all over the friggin' place. Uh, that happened to me once, too. But anyway, after that, he meets uh, the archer, played by Jerry Lopez, who's left to be killed by the wolves, and he joins Conan. And then they're in town, and there's a scene where he basically punches out a camel, which is kind of humorous. Then we also have to remember that Alex Carras says, Mongo punched out a horse in blazing saddles, too. So this was nothing new. But anyway, they decide to rob the, this, this temple owned by Thulsa Doom with all these snake worshippers and stuff like that. So they run into Valeria, uh, the Queen of Thieves, who's played by Sandal Bergen, who looks really great in this thing. And there's a pretty intense love scene between her and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So they basically go into this tower, kill a few people, and rob this diamond, uh, this big jewel that's guarded by this huge snake by basically Conan kills it in a battle with the snake. Um, they are captured by the king, played by Max von Sydow, who wants to give them a shitload of jewelry and diamonds to get his daughter back, who has been taken by Thulsa Doom. So Conan takes it on himself to uh, secrete himself into the camp, but he's found out, has the shit beat at him by these two big guys that are Thulsa's minions, and he screams to Thulsa Doom that you killed my mother and you killed my father, and Thulsa's going, oh, back, you know, back in the day I was into steel, and he goes, I found something tougher than steel, flesh, and he makes one of his minions commit suicide in front of Arnold, and then sentences him to be chained to the Tree of Woe. They might have got that from Kevin Sullivan from wrestling the Tree of Woe. But anyway, he's chained to this big tree and vultures are circling around and one starts eating him till he grabs the thing by his teeth and rips out the vulture's throat. He is rescued by the wizard and the archer and uh, Val Val Valeria and there's a big scene on the beach where the demons are trying to take him and Valeria pledges eternal love, you know, if, if, you know save him and take me down the road type of thing. So now they're going to go rescue this princess. And Valeria says, good thieves could do this, not vengeful ones, looking at Conan. So they go in there. And this is quite a, a, a vicious spectacle because th there's a cooking scene where basically there's a bunch of dismembered human corpses which are being turned into soup. And they basically sort of diversion, get the princess, and we get to watch Thulsa Doom turn into a huge snake and slither away. So they're leaving with the princess after slaughtering a whole bunch of uh, Thulsa Doom's men. But Thulsa Doom pulls a snake from around his neck, stretches it out, turns it into an arrow, and shoots it and yells, Seek! And it nails Valeria and kills her. 
So then there's a whole, you know, sort of like Viking funeral where they build a funeral pyre on the beach and set her, set her off. So now they have the princess and Thulsa Doom's going to send his men to get them, which starts another violent, bloody fight, you know, between Conan and his two big, big, there's, there's two big athletes. One of them was a weightlifter, one of them was a, foot, was a football player, and they're the main guys. So after Conan kills them, Thulsa Doom tries to shoot the princess with a snake arrow, which is intercepted by the shield by the wizard. So the princess decides to get Conan back in there to get revenge on Thulsa Doom, and basically he chops his head off, throws it down the stairs, and it rolls away. So it sort of ends with Conan sitting there holding a sword on a throne with the wizard promising more adventures as Conan is now a king, and there'll be more high adventure and things like that to come. Well, don't hold your breath. It seems that Conan signed, I um, forgot Conan, Schwarzenegger signed for four sequels after the first one. But Universal, in its infinite wisdom, decided to make the next one PG because E.T. was PG and, hey, we're all about fucking family entertainment, right? So basically, they deballed the series right then and there. Um... John Milius didn't direct, Richard Fleischer directed, and instructed Conan to wear as little clothing as possible. Okay. And instead of bringing Jerry Lopez back as a sidekick, they bring back, they bring, instead, get Tracy Walter as a sidekick, as Malik or something like that, who basically has an 80s haircut. And don't get me wrong, I think Tracy Walter is a great character actor as far as playing Western scum and criminal scum and stuff like that. But in this, it's sort of like, what the fuck, dude? And there's a whole thing in the beginning where they kill a bunch of soldiers sent out by this queen, played by Sarah Douglas, who basically says she can resurrect Valeria from the dead if Conan takes her niece and this big warrior, Bobo, or Babu, or whatever the fuck his name is, played by Will Chamberlain, and go to the city and come back with a jewel and make sure her virginity is intact because, hey, we're going to sacrifice her ass when she comes back. But they don't tell Conan that. She also tells Babu to make sure Conan doesn't come back. So there's a bunch of trials and tribulations, and they pick up Grace Jones as a warrior that's imprisoned on the way who wants to join Conan. Uh, on the set, uh, Grace Jones and Will Chamberlain did not get along. So they go there, they get the jewel, and there's another thing where... Basically, Conan battles this guy in some expressionless monster mask. I think the guy was British wrestler Pat Roach. And the monster mask is expressionless as the one in Night Beast, but the one in Night Beast is a lot better. So they get the jewel, they come back, eventually there's a battle, Conan kills Babu. Um, there's a, a monster Dagoth that's unleashed, played by an uncredited Andre the Giant. And that sort of derailed the whole series because Schwarzenegger refused to play Conan after this. Um, the series sort of tanked. I think this thing did make money, but I don't know what happened. But like I said, the series was pretty much deballed at this point. And um, the only other one brought back from the first one was Mako as the wizard who was being rescued as he, he's being barbecued by cannibals. So... I had bought the set from Arrow, you know, the deluxe set, and I had forgotten I had seen this, and I had forgotten what a real turd this fucker is. So, unfortunately, the promise made by the wizard in the first Conan didn't hold good, and there was another um, sword and sorcery thing out around the same time called The Sword and the Sorcerer, with uh, Lee Horsley playing uh, Talon, this barbarian in this whole thing. And again, this was another good one, you know, Plenty of crazy shit going on, a great cast, and another film was promised at the end of that, which never materialized either. So pretty much the barbarian thing was over, except if you went to Italy, where they were still they, they decided to do Conan movies, and they were using Red Brown and uh, who that was the other one, Jorge Rivera and people like that. So um, the first, you know, like I said, the first movie, you know, restored on you know, Blu-ray, has three versions on the Arrow thing, the theatrical, the extended European cut, and the extended cut. Of course, you get Conan the Destroyer with it to laugh your ass off at. So, um, like I said, oh, and a segue to the first Conan, I might have said this before, I don't know. Um, 
It was an Easter Sunday, and yes, I was married, and yes, I was going to church to be the family guy and the whole thing like that. Well, me and my wife pulled into the church parking lot to meet my parents there. Unfortunately, an older couple had pulled in, and the older woman had got out of the car, but the, the gentleman driving it didn't stop, and she was dragged across the parking lot by her ankle. We saw this, and we were fucking horrified. So we ran over, and my ex-wife was a dialysis nurse, so she, you know, knew somewhat what to do. I stood over the woman with a big umbrella because it was sleeting and raining. And finally the paramedics came and took her away, and we went in there, and we were completely bummed. And we got out, we were more bummed because now it was snowing heavily, Easter Sunday, it's snowing heavily, and we were supposed to go down to the shore to see her parents. So I told her, no way are we driving in this shit. So we went home, called them up, begged off, ordered Chinese takeout, and threw on HBO, and Conan the Barbarian was playing. So we smoked some really good Colombian gold and got all fucking weepy at the point where um, Valeria got killed and they having the funeral. Like, oh my god, it sucked. Oh, she had to die. What the fuck? So yeah, the wonders of weed, but that's sort of like a segue of what happened you know, after uh, smoking a lot of dope and crying with the funeral. So... That's our show for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe and we'll catch you on the flip side.